Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles Advance. and welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show. We cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment, and we give you guys a fresh perspective on things and how we see them. And today we have an absolutely absurd show for you guys. Before we get into it, please make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. So, um, as you guys know, Team USA won the Olympic uh, the gold medal uh, the gold medal yesterday. Congratulations to them. Um, and LeBron James was the Finals MVP. All right. Uh, and in the aftermath of all of that, there's been a lot of conversation surrounding what took place. Some people upset that Stephen Curry didn't win. Some people are saying that LeBron is the GOAT, blah, 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 blah. But our usual neighborhood troll in Nick Wright. And, you know, here's what gets me. Here's what gets me. Some people come to our channel and say, oh, you're the next Skip Bayless. And I always wonder, so what is Nick Wright? What is Nick Wright? What is Nick Wright? LeBron fans will criticize people like me, but they love Nick Wright, who I personally believe is for certifiably one of the biggest trolls in all of sport. Uh, he's a troll. Nick Wright is a flat out troll. I don't take the vast majority of what Nick Wright says, especially when it comes to this GOAT debate and all of that. So going into that final game, Nick Wright on the show, First Things First, which is a good show, by the way was on the set with Kevin Wiles. I don't think Chris Broussard was in attendance. And they came up with a segment. Uh, and this segment was essentially uh, centered on who has the most to lose in this Olympic gold medal uh, 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 game. Uh, and he was going through the list, the game of the players. He then gets to number two and he goes... LeBron James has is the second player with the second most to lose. And then he goes, but he's not the one with the most to lose. And he goes to the final one and he goes, the person with the most to lose is Michael Jordan. For those of you guys who, who, who don't even believe that Nick Wright actually said what he said. We want to actually play his comments for you so you guys can hear for yourselves. Before we even get into the madness and the sheer lunacy of what Nick Wright said, today's video is brought to you by our sponsor, Game Time. Game Time is an authorized ticket marketplace of Major League Baseball, which makes getting tickets faster and easier. For example, I am super excited about the upcoming MLB games. With Game Time tickets, I can easily pick the best tickets for me. I love that I can choose between different deals. I have the option to select the cheaper deal, the best option deal, or my favorite, the flash deal. The flash deal gives me the option to find discounts that I can only find on game time. Once I select the ticket I want, I can see view my seat. And it's not just restricted to baseball. I can also look for the best ticket deals for other sports like football, the NBA, concerts, comedy, or other theater shows. Included in my purchase, I also have a 24 hour return guarantee a lowest price guarantee event cancellation protection so take the guesswork out of buying mlb tickets with game time download the game time app create an account and use code clns for 20 dollars off your first purchase again create an account and redeem code clns for 20 dollars off and remember whenever you support this sponsor you're supporting this channel thank you so what we'd like to do now is we'd like to play exactly what Nick Wright had to say yesterday on his show, and then we're going to come back and react to his absolutely insane comments. Take a listen to Nick Wright here. Let's Most go. to lose in the gold medal game. Number five, Grant Hill. Uh, here's the thing, yeah. USA Basketball. Who's going to play for 2028? Just curious. Anthony Edwards is in. Who else? If I'm Tatum, I'm like, no. I don't know if Tatum's in. I don't know if Jalen Brown's in. I LeBron probably will be retired. Honestly, <laughs> Cooper Flag was in that scrimmage. Yes, like Cooper. Like, right. like, uh, so it, it, there is a real cost to building this team this way, and then having Tatum iced out, Jalen Brown not there. Chet and Jalen Brown. <laughs> right. Yeah. I mean, it's something. Ja. But, all right. Number oh, four. I get excited for this. Speaking weekend. of it, Jason Tatum. It's just been a bad. He's or, it, win or lose tomorrow. It's just a rough spot. No, not if he win. Not if he plays and plays well. Oh, I don't. You don't. I don't think all of a sudden it's like, hey, now you're a featured member of the rotation. 
if, if, he do, if he gets iced out again, yes. But if he gets double-digit points, it'll be like, oh, yeah, sure. Playing. But, I mean, he hasn't. he's been unproductive when he's gotten opportunities. So, most to lose Tatum. Number three. Yikes. Uh, Ruby Gobert. So, I don't know if you've been following the France box scores, but Rudy Gobert is experiencing this Olympics much like he experienced some playoff runs in Utah, which is as the games get more important, his role diminishes. Weird. The fact that it's happening with France in the Olympics is baffling. I think he has to be excellent tomorrow for them to have a chance. Mm -hmm. I'm very curious what happens. Number two on this list also, oddly, LeBron. He has the second most to gain and the second most to lose because if they lose, folks will hang this around him. There is fair, it will be wildly unfair. He's been the best player on the team, but it will be a referendum on LeBron. However, the person with the most to lose, assuming Team USA wins, is one Michael Jeffrey Jordan. What? Because, well... A lot of people are, because of LeBron's excellence in these in these Olympics, looking up that 92 Dream Team. They're like, hey, who was the only guy who didn't play well? Who was the only guy who shot poorly from the field and turned the ball over and probably was out gambling in the casinos in Barcelona? And by the way, how old was he? And how old's LeBron? And how many golds? And so I'm just, again. Box score watch. I, I, you got to watch the, the games. Oh, okay, that's fine. You watch I, all the I, games? So you heard what Nick Wright had to say. Nick Wright personally believes that by LeBron James winning his gold medal, Michael Jordan loses out. And Michael Jordan is the most to lose. And the question someone needs to ask is, well, what exactly is Michael Jordan supposed to be losing? What is he supposed to be losing out on? Help me figure this out. Let me... Hip y'all up to something. Do you know Michael Jordan never lost a game in international competition? I repeat that. Do you know Michael Jordan has never lost a game in international competition? Do you know Kobe Bryant has never lost a game in international competition? Do you know who has a bronze medal to his name? The person that he said is the one that surpassed Michael Jordan. So, Nick Wright, I have a question for you. This is the this is the sheer, like, just insanity of LeBron fans. If this gold medal puts LeBron ahead of Jordan, what does that bronze medal do? I'll repeat. If this gold medal helps LeBron's argument against Jordan... What does the bronze medal do for LeBron's argument against Michael Jordan? Do you know what else? I'm 100% sure, 100% sure that there are some LeBron fans that don't even know LeBron James won a, a bronze medal in the Olympics, in the 2004 Olympics. I'm 100% certain of that. That there's some LeBron fans out there that believe that this guy won all the gold medals. LeBron is not even the person with the most gold medals on the team. It's Kevin Durant with four. With four. So what does that do for Kevin Durant's legacy against LeBron? You know what LeBron fan going to say? Nothing. So KD's medal does nothing for KD's argument against LeBron. But LeBron's medal does something against Jordan. And LeBron has a bronze. A bronze medal. Okay. Let's play that game. Let's play the game. This gold medal is a has a positive net effect on LeBron versus Jordan. Okay. Let me ask you now another question. Does the six finals, or rather the 40% win percentage in the finals have a negative effect on LeBron versus Michael Jordan? What about the fact that LeBron never had one three-peat in his career? Not even one. While playing with way more all-star talent throughout the course of his career. Hmm? How is it possible that Michael Jordan, when he came back to the Bulls at the age of the, the Bulls, the Wizards, at the age of 39, almost got 
the Washington Wizards into the playoffs with a bad knee with no other top 75 player on his roster. But LeBron James with Russell Westbrook, with Carmelo Anthony, with Anthony Davis, didn't even make the playing tournament. Does that hurt LeBron's legacy against Michael Jordan? I'm, I'm trying to figure this out. Oh, what about the fact that LeBron has only made five all defensive teams in 22 years? 22 years. Whereas Jordan made nine and got a defensive player of the year. Does that help? What about the fact that Jordan has 10 scoring titles to LeBron's one? What about the fact that Jordan has six finals MVPs to LeBron's four? What about the fact that Jordan's team never lost more than two games in eight years? What about the fact Jordan has the highest scoring average for any player in the history of the NBA in a regular season? What about the fact Jordan has the highest scoring average in the playoffs for any player in the history of the NBA? What about the fact Michael Jordan was able to three-peat when he had just one all-star player? The moment he got one all-star player, he three-peated. What about the fact Michael Jordan in his NBA career only lost one playoff series when he had an all-star? Do those things help Jordan? Do they help them? What about the fact Michael Jordan never had a mental collapse in an NBA Finals round and had to basically get carried off of the floor because he was an abject embarrassment to the sport of basketball? What about the fact Michael Jordan was never known as the catalyst of the person that ruined the competitive balance in basketball by joining a big three and forming a big three in Miami? What about the fact that Le LeBron needs all of these guys and pays them in media and now in independent media, some former NBA players pays them to argue on his behalf? Why isn't LeBron comfortable with his resume speaking for himself? What about all of that? Does that help? LeBron fans are insane. They are insane. They actually think this is an argument. In their minds, they think this is a debate. LeBron fans stooped so low that they tried to turn an in-season tournament into something of some sort of value. Do you know some of them were so shameless that they were posting online? He, LeBron is a five-time NBA champion and five times final. They were actually doing. They were doing that. They were doing. I saw the comments. Nick Wright is a clown. He's a clown. He's not serious. Nick Wright is disingenuous. Listen, I was watching a show yesterday. Um, that uh, Marco, co-founder of Dreamers Pro, sent to me of Patrick but David, value Timmy. Y'all know Patrick but David, and he was talking about the twenty ways to grow a podcast, a YouTube channel, whatever the hell you want to call it. And one of the things he said was, "Be yourself, right? Be yourself. Talk about current events. Be yourself. The worst thing you can be known as is to be viewed as a fake." As a person that goes out there that only says things for clicks and views. People talk about Skip Bayless. Nick Wright is the exact same, except he's on the other end of the spectrum. He's on the other end of the spectrum. If y'all hate Skip Bayless for trolling LeBron, what do you think about Nick Wright? Nick Wright has been a chronic troll of Jordan. Nick Wright, has, he was the only person I ever heard come out of his mouth and say, Kobe Bryant was never the best player in the NBA at any point when he played. He's also the same person that went on FS1, and this is where he made his 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 big move, where he said that LeBron James had passed Michael uh, Michael Jordan in 2016 when he won the fight. Nick Wright said this. These are the things that Nick Wright said. I cannot respect a man that will throw away his morals and integrity for money. I don't respect you. I can't. As a man, I cannot respect you because I know you're going to say anything to make money and there are a lot of them out there we're not going to say names we know them we know them by their works we know them based off of the things that they say there are some people that are willing to say anything anything to get ahead in life and if that means they got to go up there and clown and turn themselves into a sideshow and say ridiculous outlandish things they will do it because it makes them money. Some people do it for money. Some people do it for attention. Some people, the sad part is that's all they can do. Let me say it again. 
some people, if they don't play that game and they were just straightforward and honest and gave sensible takes, they would never get ahead. So they now have to say these ridiculous outlandish things to pander to people. I don't respect these people at all. I don't respect your position. I don't because you're, 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 you're in that seat in an, in an untowards, uh, 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 you, you did it in an untowards manner. You weaseled your way to that position by saying crazy things. The worst kind of liar is a person that lies straight to your face and gaslights you. Nick Wright is one of these people that can spit in your face and tell you it's raining. They, he can. They can. So to me, man, look, it is annoying to me because these are the people that are being promoted. These are the people that are being promoted. You would never hear any serious journalist say the stuff that Nick writes. You wouldn't hear a serious one say that. Anyone worth their salt say the stuff that he says. You wouldn't. But this is what sports media has become. And it's one of the reasons why I'm actually getting sick of sports media. The reason we're going to start talking about politics. Yeah, there are days why I enjoy talking about sports. But all, but I got to say, uh, all too often, there are too many clowns that are being promoted in sports media. And the buffoonery uh, is what's being promoted. And it seems like the more outlandish things you say, the more you act like a damn fool, the more you're going to be promoted. It seems like that's what people love in sports media. You got to act like a fool, say stupid things, say outlandish things, and that's going to be the way you make your money. And to me, man, I think there should be a limit to all of this. There should be a limit. It hurt Michael Jordan's legacy. Nick Wright owes his career to Michael Jordan. LeBron fans, talking about you need, he owes his career. Nick Wright made his name on that day he went on FS uh, on uh, uh, Undisputed. When Shannon Sharp was there and put that outlandish tape take. Go Google Nick Wright, YouTube Nick Wright, and look for his most viewed video. That video is his most viewed video. He said something so outlandish that it caused people to tune in to hear the craziness, and boom, he figured out his way to the top. I'm just gonna just hate on Michael Jordan and say crazy things. And just basically pander to the LeBron sycophants and the zealots in the corner. And then this time I'm going to move up the ladder. And if you're a LeBron guy in media, you're on the right track. You're going to make a lot of damn money. If you are a LeBron guy, you're going to make a lot of money. If you want to go into sports media, you want to make a lot of money, be a LeBron James fan. Say he's the greatest and you're going to move forward. Sell your soul. Go ahead. I know some of y'all just can't resist. These are my thoughts. Whatever you guys think, leave your thoughts in the comment section. We catch you guys on. And for those of you saying I'm a LeBron hater, you guys are LeBron lovers. And if you're going to call me out, call out Nick Wright for some of the stupid shit he says every single day. If you're not going to do that because I never see you guys under his comments, I can never take you guys seriously. Thank you for watching the video and contribute to, contributing to the views. That's all I view you guys as. These are my thoughts and I'm out.